My name is Untal The Voice. So, uh, last time, you know, we had a very good, beautiful conversation with uh, Patrick, the designer of uh, Mobius uh, Double Track. So, you know, that conversation actually brought up something uh, that, you know, many people wanted to know. What was it you, that you are talking about? Because you talked about uh, something about Salmon. And uh, we needed to, you know, expound on the same about uh, alternative uh, fuel, right? Yeah. So introduce yourself for those watching for the first time again, because the the audience, you know, keeps on uh, increasing every now and then. You know, the number keeps on growing. So introduce yourself again, brother. Okay, my name is Patrick Mbogo. Yes. Uh, I'm a designer. Yes. I'm a IT guy. Yes. I do uh, design. That's 3D. Yeah. Uh, websites. Yeah. Uh, graphics. Yeah. Anything IT. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we getting inside, then uh, we have a sit down, then we continue with the discussion. My name is Mutal The Voice. For those watching for the t first time, if you have not subscribed, man, click that subscribe button and I really, really appreciate So let's get inside. So we we are having a conversation here with uh, Patrick. First of all, you know, uh, he talked about, you know, uh, the alternative fuel that is coming with you know last time and uh, when we talked about um, fusion and fusion of course he wants to talk about the fusion of which uh, is the concept that he's coming uh, with because we understand fusion is about using uh, you know radioactive materials like plutonium and also um, uranium. uranium right yeah so maybe break down what do you mean with uh, this uh, uh, fusion thing that you are talking about? Yeah, so the first thing uh, we have to understand is the difference between fusion and fusion. Fusion uh, is the fusion is the splitting yeah. of atoms. Yeah. But fusion yeah. is fusing them together. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. And for fusion, it's radioactive. Yeah. So you need uh, uh, fuels like pl uh, plutonium, uranium, but for fusion, it's not radioactive. It's a pure form of water. So okay. we, we are removing all, min all, all those minerals. Mm. We, are, we are distilling, distilled water, so yeah. distilled water. Yeah. Uh. Wow. So, okay, you have talked about water. Yes, we understand that concept of water. You have already covered it so well. but. You know, someone is asking, is this the normal water that you use every day, you know, a day-to-day -day activity, or is there any other water that you're talking about? Because you need to break that down to a layman's language. Because someone's not going to understand that your know, fusion concept to a fact that, you know, you understand this normal water. Can this thing be done just at home? Or what is it that you're talking about? So, uh, we're not using normal water. As I said, we are using uh, we are using distilled water. So uh, heavy water, uh, it have a special property. So it's not like uh, the normal water. So it's a pure form of water. And uh, one of the country uh, currently we try to produce it, but it's it, it's taking more more power than we we it's taking more power to create and that won't be uh, efficient but we are coming with other ways so for the testing we imported the water from Norway uh, it's known as heavy water and uh, the process currently we, 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 we achieved an arc so uh, what we did we used uh, the anode and cathode uh, to, uh, and the, the water was the heavy water so when we imputed some current in it an arc formed. So when that arc formed, so that's why we, we, we noticed we have the the fusion process taking on. And actually for some process when we, we removed the the grid that was, was generating the arc, the arc continued for some minutes. So we knew there's something happening in the process. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the, there is someone there watching right mm -hmm. now. Says you know uh, because uh, I remember in the last uh, topic that we talked about this uh, because uh, we were talking about Mobius. You are the one who designed Mobius, which was uh, the first car to be manufactured in Kenya. The Mobius double truck. Patrick is the one who designed that car. But you know, someone was saying this. This is kind of sounds like uh, you know these pseudo sciences. Uh, things that even don't exist or it doesn't make sense when you hear someone saying like that uh, do you put in mind like uh, this maybe is a person who really doesn't understand and needs to be educated on the same or what goes in a mind in your mind right now when you hear someone says man this is just like a conspiracy theory or these are pseudoscience so <laughs> when I hear someone talking of it as pseudoscience I can actually can laugh at him or at her because uh, you are talking and yet you are just sitting and not doing anything. As you are doing something that other scientists are doing. Toyota is doing the same thing. It's trying to research about uh, the cold fusion. Uh, as you are here in Kenya, I think I am the first one to do that in Kenya. So instead of talking, you should go to the, the, the work on it. Work on it yourself. So <laughs> <laughs> it's pseudoscience. Yeah. You just went to, uh, to the internet and research what is pseudoscience, and then you're coming to tell us about pseudoscience. <laughs> As we are doing things, yeah. we have our a workshop. Yes. Yeah. And we, and our factory will be set up in a few years. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I really also need to understand, like you know, such things uh, doing research and innovation. Uh, it is a good thing uh, for the economy and also to put you know Kenya to or maybe Africa to a certain cadre but um, sometimes I do feel like people are responsible to support you guys in terms of government uh, resources and all that sometimes these people don't really understand so apart from that what are some of the challenges that you do face especially be because when you're saying this it is something that it is on the process right now so what are these challenges that you're facing right now that you think when you improved um, it can make things better. So you start with the challenges, then you give a solution the same. One of the reasons, like well, the main challenge is the electricity. It's very expensive to to do like the electrolysis process which we are doing. Uh, the reason actually we are buying from Norway, Norway they are using the uh, these, uh, the waterfalls. They are producing uh, the electricity and the electricity is very cheap. In Kenya, we have the waterfalls, but our, our electricity is way beyond what uh, you can't even imagine. Because I know in any industry, mm. when power is high, it's going to be a challenge, actually. Yeah. Imagine, I have to go to Norway to export water. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are exporting the deuterium from... Yeah. So the, the challenge is power. Uh, so, But I know, with the time when, when we achieve what we are achieving, we are going to generate a power uh, and this kind of process we are doing we are going to input it in vehicles generators you you will power your home for free using just a cup of water just sit like this so courtesy of salmon automobile you'll see these things happening they will come so for now the power is expensive yeah 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 all those things but we are coming we are coming up with the, the future technology once we achieve all our standards that we want we set we're going to produce all those stuff. So how, how are you going to do this? Uh, because um, I understand like doing something, research, innovation actually needs a lot of capital on the same. So well, how, how are you going to you know, ensure that you have this whole capital? Because when you produce this, uh, you, a point you'll need, you need to export, you need to expand. So what are, you, what are, the, what are the plans so far up to this moment? That's a very good question. Uh, so uh, with our plan, currently we just have a small workshop mm -hmm. and uh, we have 10 people working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, as an IT guy, I came up with uh, a software, uh, a platform. Let me just call it a platform uh, where, where people in Kenya can sell and buy things. They can use, use it at, uh, as a point of exchange. And also they can the shop there and compare prices. And, uh, I I offered a charge, so when you 
put some in there, you, you for like a month, you'll be charged like five hundred shillings. So which I'll, converts to five dollars. Five dollars around there. Yeah. So uh, if we achieve our, our, our want in the next three months, want to achieve a hundred thousand subscribers. Currently, we have around ten thousand. So by the time we have a hundred thousand subscribers, people who, who have shops and they are selling their things on our platform, we are able to generate fifty million per month. Wow. So that's a good way. Fifty we, million is just like uh, around. Um, Let's say five thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars. Five five thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So, um, you know, I've had stories like this before, and uh, someone discovering or coming up with an innovative idea. But uh, one of the things that also do pop up is that you know, uh, these people do find themselves uh, in problems. You know, uh, because they say you know uh, the bigger companies maybe cannot be happy with uh, such inventions because uh, when you come with such an invention it means uh, people who are uh, making electric cars are going to, uh, to go for losses uh, for those using uh, fuel, uh, fossil fuel also like uh, diesel or petrol are going to go in, uh, for you know they're going to have losses so do you have you know some threats or dangers while doing this? Yeah, there's a lot of dangers uh, this happened to one of my friend who is uh, currently is dead because he was killed, but he's not uh, like we met. He's, uh, he's an innovator in America. He was known as uh, Stephen Mayer. He, de he designed a car that was used in water. So uh, one day he was just called uh, by some investors who said they are interested in his uh, technology. He went to the hotel. When he ate, he was poisoned. That's how he died, Stanley Mayer. Yeah. So, uh, yes, there are dangers. Uh, so we, we have to be very careful. We have another guy, uh, the Zimbabwean innovator, who invented a TV that is using uh, wireless. The, the TV is, is, is not using the power grid. It's generating its uh, its power by itself. And he was poisoned the other, like a, a few, like he was poisoned again, uh, but he's alive. So we have to, to, those challenges, they do come and uh, we are going to, to, to overcome. Overcome. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, maybe you can give us a parting shot on the same. Um, maybe just to tell people what to expect in the near future. In the near future, Kenya will be the capital city of Africa. Africa will be one country. And as you know, <laughs> we'll have great we'll have great technology. Uh, like the Salmon Automobile, it will be the, big, the biggest car company in Africa. And uh, we are going to sell it first in Africa, so that uh, uh, those <laughs> the West and those people who say we are not creative, those, those who say uh, we don't think, they will hear that there is a car in Africa that is self uh, it generates its own energy, self sufficient and it's powered. Self -suffi yeah, it's, it's, it, it powers itself. Yeah. Huh? And they think us our cars are using you know, fuel, uh, blah 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 so they want to come and buy our cars mm -hmm. so uh we'll have a very 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 great technology you you'll be at home you not need uh, the power grid you just need uh, just a small like a cup <laughs> to generate the whole power for your for your home and that's something that we are doing it's happening and uh, it, it, we are almost achieving it yeah Man, it has been a pleasure, man, sharing with you this podium, and I really appreciate, man. Thank you so much, guys, you're watching right now, and don't uh, forget to, you know, click that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate for your immense support, man. So that's it, man, with Patrick, you know, the designer of, uh, you know, Mobia six by six double truck. Uh, he's inventing uh, something new. Uh, he's the owner of Ndonyo Market and also uh, Salmon. Uh, Salmon? Salmon Automobile. Salmon Automobile. Cloud CG. Cloud, Cloud, CG. CG, is a, Cloud CG is an IT company. Yeah. Uh, like uh, I've registered, uh, Donya Marketplace is under Cloud CG. Yeah. Donya Marketplace, you can post your links there and sell very easily. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, uh, the Salmon Automobile, it will be an automotive company. Also, we create generators, a lot of things, but they'll be self-sufficient. Wow. So, self so maybe you can tell people to go to www. 
Yeah, if you want to sell your things or you want to buy uh, things easily, you can go to www.nduni.co.ke. You will support me so that we make this uh, <laughs> technology come true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Mm. That's it with Patrick, man. My name is Untar The Voice and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a good time.